What's up guys, this is iTouch and in this video I'm gonna explain to you how to diagnose and show you how to fix a MacBook 12 inch that has no backlight. So let's get straight into it. So today in this video I'm gonna show you how to fix a MacBook 12 inch with no backlight. Uh, this is the MacBook 12 inch that has no backlight. Uh, this is an A200-00045 uh, board, came in with nothing on the screen, but when you turn on the MacBook, as you can hear, there is a chime, but nothing is on the screen really, but if you look really closely, you will see that there is an Apple logo. As you can see, there is an Apple logo, but there is no backlight. So now we are gonna take apart the MacBook and see why he has no backlight. So now we are gonna check the board to see if there is any kind of water damage or signs of water damage. Basically corrosion. <laughs> okay, that's normal. Everything here basically is normal. Okay, let's check the connector, the LCD connector most important area because we don't have a backlight okay solder joints look fine okay no damaged components okay let's see the other side okay this is the backlight chip and here we have the backlight fuse backlight coil and those are the capacitors and the output and this is the diode all related to the backlight circuit so I'm gonna first check the backlight uh, fuse to check if it's okay yep it's okay everything is okay and I'm gonna uh, check to see if there is a short on this backlight fuse as you can see no short to ground in the input of this chip 
So uh, I'm gonna check the output of the chip. Okay, I'm gonna open the schematics to see where is the output. All right, so we have our board view and uh, yes, and the other side, this is our backlight chip. Okay, let's see on the schematics. This is our backlight chip in this, this board. Um, this is the input, the PPBOS G3HOT, and this is the fuse that we just checked and it looks just fine and there is no problems. Uh, then we have this uh, current sensing resistor and then we have this transistor and the chip itself. So basically uh, we don't have a short on the input so our PPBus J3 hat is okay and we are gonna check we are gonna check right away the output to see if there is a problem maybe in the chip itself or uh, maybe there is a short on this one of these caps uh, okay I'm gonna search the output is pin number 1 2 and 21 21 is for feedback but 1 2 is the output so 1 and 2 goes straight to the diode and this is our output and also the feedback. So we are gonna check, first of all, we are gonna check the output itself. See, just to make sure that the chip is working and there is no kind of any problem. Let's see the output. Oh, what do you know? That's a really, really low output. It should be a lot higher. It should have around 600 or 700. Okay, this number is really low. I'm gonna check the other side of the diode. And we have a short ground on the other side of the diode. As I showed you on the schematics, the other side of the diode goes to the coil and straight to the chip so uh, could be there is no there is no cap between them Go, the line it goes straight to the backlight chip but the other side of this goes all the way here but what are the chances of being some kind of cap or maybe other elements on the board short of the ground and what are the chances that the chip is damaged only so we are gonna try to remove the chip and see if we still have the short ground if we still have the short ground then uh, it could be the problem uh, on this side of this uh, circuit but if we don't if the short ground just gone, then our problem was only the backlight chip, and we solved. It. We are gonna solve it with replacing with a new chip, and yeah, everything will be back to working again. Okay, so now after we remove the chip, we are gonna check 
for the short if it's still present or not it's the ground and there is no short I'm gonna check on the coil and on the diode just to make sure no nothing nothing everything is okay now we are gonna solder our chip and see if our backlight is back And now that we replaced the broken chip, we are gonna try the MacBook and see if our backlight is back. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let me lit. Yes, we have our backlight. And there is our Apple logo. Everything is just magnificent. So guys, that will be it for this video. Uh, I know I'm dressed a little bit different. Uh, the video that uh, I shot for in that day uh, was corrupted or something happened I don't know uh, so I'm shooting this video in a, in a different day and that's why I'm wearing a different clothes uh, what I want to say is thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button subscribe to my channel for more interesting repairs and videos uh, and if you have any other questions just leave it in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them so thanks for watching goodbye